All right, what is going on guys? A.S. Rose here and today I'm going to be talking about how CJ So Cool made a deal with the devil and sold 70% of his YouTube channel for $3.4 million. Now I got a lot of respect for CJ So Cool mostly because he come from where I come from which is Indiana. I'm not from Gary but I will say me and him are neighbors or were whatever you want to call it. Now I don't respect the fact that you sold your soul and made a deal with the devil for fame and money but that's what everybody doing these days so you know in my opinion whatever floats your boat go ahead and do as you please. But just know you're going to have to answer to a certain someone when your time come i gotta be very watchful of the people who live for this world but i'm not gonna hold you on along with this video man with that being said are y'all ready let's get it so if you guys remember a few months ago cj was speaking on this whole situation with him selling royalties of his channel now at the time he had two loans out for eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars a piece he had to pay each investor back about 1.1 million dollars now each month he had to pay each investor 35 percent of his youtube earnings now 35 percent times two would be 70 percent of his monthly YouTube earnings were going back to pay these loans. CJ, why you have to go and sell the royalties to your YouTube channel, bro? Why, 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 why you gotta sell the royalties, man? Why you couldn't just continuously get it out the mud on your own like how you was doing back in the day? If y'all know about CJ So Cool and how he started YouTube, he started because his brother Jinx got him on the wave. And then from what I remember watching when it came to other videos I seen about him, he went from a thousand subscribers to over 30,000 subscribers in a week. Just based off of reaction videos and revenue wise, he was pulling in like $40,000 a month and then switched up his content fast forward eight years later he didn't sold his soul i mean ain't no telling how many times he didn't sold his soul it's obviously at the first time but you just don't get to reach a certain status like this like his now am i saying you can't become a youtuber and organically grow your fan base off consistency and hard work hell no nah. if you feel like you can make it on youtube then go for it but it's the selling your soul thing that's just not sitting right with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's ever going to sit right with me. Now, CJ did briefly speak on the situation. Okay, yes, I did make a deal what I would assume to be the devil. I made a deal with the devil and I let them buy royalties of my YouTube, not fully understanding the extent of what I was doing. Well, it appears that CJ may have made another deal with the devil. As you can see, the list price here of 2.5 million this time, not 800,000. And as you can see, five days ago, he accepted an offer of $2.2 million. Now he's getting 2.2 million and here it says that he has to pay back 3.4 million dollars before we go any further y'all heard exactly what i heard right he happily without a care in the world says yes i did make a deal with what i was soon to be the devil i made a deal with the devil i sold my soul y you know what i'm saying i mean i guess that's what coming from indiana would do to you I I don't know. So anyway, with that deal that he made, he got $2.2 million and he has to pay back $3.4 million. That's a lot of money. He's not taking 35%. He's going to be given 70% of his YouTube earnings each month until that $3.4 million is paid off. That's crazy. CJ, you ain't even cool at this point. You are crazy, my guy. Well, CJ also has some things to say on D-Lo's video about D-Lo not going to his birthday trip as well as him losing a lot of his friends. Man, I'm just I mean, you think I tried to miss triple purpose? Yes, honestly, I did. You guys want to hear the truth? Let me take the camera. I honestly think D-Lo tried to sabotage my trip. I'm going to tell y'all the truth. You know nothing but the truth, so help me God. I think D-Lo thought that if he didn't go, he was going to let me realize how, ma how madly I needed him to be there. And then, guess what? D-Lo figured out a solution. So I know D-Lo didn't sabotage me. But at first, I'm like, D-Lo, why are you doing this to me, bro? All my friends turning on me. They doing all kind of crazy stuff. And now you want to do that, too? Now, now another friend better not turn their back on me. That's how I was feeling. You ain't got and no more friends. No, you my last hey, one for <laughs> I don't think it's just the fact that people are switching up on him specifically, but another reason that popped in my mind that I know is facts is the fact that I heard him in an audio recording say he don't like royalty or the kids no more and he all kicked them out. And no, I'm not making it up or being over, I'm not over exaggerating, like I'm being so serious right now when I say that. I'm sure he is a stand up dude with a charismatic personality, although in the end, like they always say, your apology needs to be louder than your disrespect was. In most days, people don't care to hear apologies like that no more. If you're going to switch up on me or talk crap, Cool. Just pick a side and stay there and make sure you don't come back. Facts. Jay also spoke on how this trip was different from last year's trip they took to Miami for Realty's birthday. I'm going to try to say it as, as positive as possible. This was the best trip I ever had. And it's because the diversity in the trip 
and the, the like the different cultures that were there. We had someone from Colombia there. We had uh, someone from Hawaii there. We had, that was Marie, by the way, if you guys didn't know. We had uh, all the people from Gary. We had Nap. We had Virginia in the building, even though Delisa is from Gary. She lives in Virginia. We had a lot of different people come together that most of us didn't know each other. But it was a lot of diversity, a lot of getting to know each other. We all stayed together in the mansion for the first time. And I think it was dope, man. So you CJ, I know you don't know me and everything, man, but why was I not invited? You think you the life of the party? Man, I would have been hitting backflips and front flips up the wall having everybody in that mansion turn. You ain't sh Yo, coconut haired ass. You a whole coconut with dreads. Your sophisticated seahorse looking ass. But anyways, yesterday I also spoke on Realty dropping a diss track and it seems like she went back to the studio last night. So we may be expecting some more music. I ain't letting up they neck for the disrespect. I ain't tired yet. See me as a threat. Never see me sweat. Diamonds and baguettes. I'm a certified step apply. Nothing but the Shut up. Swallow, shut up, bitch, gobble, put up, bitch in check. I ain't letting off they neck for the disrespect. I ain't tired yet. You see me as a threat. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is a, a two pack of ass. The f are you talking about? That shit stinks. Boy, hell no. Nah. You need to throw that whole track in the garbage and give up rapping right now. I is that a diss track? I hope it's not a diss track. I didn't heard some horrible songs in my life, but that? That's going to my top 10 worst songs ever. Just stop, royalty. Yo, but it's too old to be sitting here trying to rap. You, you need to go back home and take care of them kids you got instead of sitting at the table wasting your time. CJ rap better than you. A ain't that about a bitch? Yo, Doug Doug Goose face. You know what? No. There's my date. What's up? What's happening, Royalty? Miss Look Royalty. Look at your hair, Rico. You feel me? I had to get right. Oh, oh Lord. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You had to get right. No, boy, you had to get wrong. Who the f is this nigga, Royalty? I'm talking about he had to get right. Whoever did your hair, you, you need to get your bread back and go to a different stylist because that Bushwick bush is not it. Him and royalty both look like some damn crusty chameleons and y'all know I'm not lying. But this is why I will be wrapping up the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that like button, turn on post notifications so you never miss another video and share this video with your friends. And follow me on social media. All the links will be in the description box below. And with that being said, I love all of you forever and always and I will see you in the next video. But okay. did you know that's your girl? Okay. Push on the itty bitty titty committee, trying to get litty litty when you wanna run up. I'ma hit you with the fucking 50 niggas wanna touch that shit, but never really about that shit. I got a question for you, nigga. How you really do that shit? Hey.